These are the instructions for day five of investing your money investigation. So, so far this week, you have compared two different types of accounts at one bank. So you've looked at a checking and savings and compared the different features and expenses. And then on Tuesday, you are supposed to identify which of those accounts made more sense for you based on your own financial needs. Um, Wednesday's activity was to take that type of account that you had picked, choose two different banks and compare what kind of services they offer for students. And then yesterday's activity was to say, okay, of those two banks, which one do you think is better for you? Now, our last activity is a little bit different um, for Friday. You are going to watch a video about some different types of investments and risk versus reward. So reward is about how much money you're going to make off of something. So something that is low reward is not going to make you much money at all. And something that is high reward means you're going to make a lot of money. So in the video that you watch, I would like to point out that he is always giving the person $100 and you can kind of see how much money he's getting back to figure out how much reward he's getting. And then the other issue is risk. So something that is low risk means that there's not really a big chance of you losing your money. And something that is high risk means there's a pretty good chance that you might either lose your money or not get all of your money back. Um, so once again, if he puts in that $100, you can sort of see how much money he is potentially getting back when he's doing his investing. So for this activity, he does talk about risk and reward. Um, and you're going to take the four types of investments here and then just click and then drag. So you click it once and then you get that little four directional crosshair and then you can just drag it to where you think it goes in terms of risk and reward and then let go. So you have to click it once until you get those directional arrows and then you can kind of drag them to wherever you think they should go. By the way, this is not where they should go. Okay, so this is our last activity for the week. Once you have finished everything, um, you can just close your presentation to save it. And then in Google Classroom, you can click on submit and it will, or sorry, turn in and it will submit it to me to be marked.